Hi guys, what's up? My name is Riley and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a licensed cosmetologist in the state of California. Obviously today we're in the salon. We're gonna be talking about Shades EQ. If you haven't followed me on Instagram already, I'm gonna leave it right down here. You can follow me and catch up with me on all things hair. This video is gonna be perfect for beginners if you don't know a lot about Shades EQ, but you hear about it a lot. That was me when I first started doing hair. So curious, but didn't know much about it. This video is gonna be perfect for you. So let's talk about Shades shades. So Shades AQ is a demi-permanent hair color. Demi-permanent means it is deposit only. It cannot lift the natural hair color. So when you put it on the hair, it is only going to release pigment. It will not make the natural hair lighter, but it can darken since it is deposit. It is not a permanent hair color, so it is not going to cover grays. Demi-permanent hair colors are usually mixed with a really low developer, or in this case, processing solution. Usually the developers are like three, five, and maybe seven but like I said Redken has their own processing solution Shades EQ is perfect for toning it's perfect for root smudges root taps root melts and even low lights they go by a number and a letter system the number represents the level of the hair color so for instance 10 is the brightest blonde you can be and one is the blackest of black so anything in between that is the level of hair color and the letter is the shade or the tone of the hair color so for instance g is gold b is violet p is pearl i'm holding this one that says n a it's an 8 n a it is going to be a level 8 natural ash the recommended use is on dry hair for 20 to 25 minutes. Obviously, it is super well known that not everybody follows this rule. They do say that for the best coverage, it needs to be on dry hair for 20 to 25 minutes. I personally don't even do that unless I'm taking someone darker. When I'm toning someone, I usually put it on for like 10 to 15 minutes on damp hair. The thing about shades is because it is a deposit only color, it gets super dark really fast. It can actually be really really scary when you're putting a level 8 on the root it looks like it's going to be black by the time it's ready to rinse and if you're putting a 9V, it literally turns pure purple. Something I've learned about shades is you totally just have to trust the process and allow the hair color to work. If you rinse it out too fast, your client's gonna go home, wash their hair, and suddenly there's gonna be no toner in their hair anymore. Like I said, it does really have to deposit in the hair for it to last. I would say the longest my toner has probably ever lasted is like up to eight to 10 weeks. So I do recommend for those clients who like to go longer in between appointments that they're coming in more consistently just for a tone. So I know a lot of people have used the Shades EQ with 10 volume, but I don't prefer to do that just because I don't want to mess with the natural level of their hair because as we know, 10 volume can lift the hair. So I always use the recommended processing solution that Redken recommends. So they actually have two kinds. One is just the Shades EQ gloss and the other is the gloss to gel. And these are both totally fine recommended for the Shades EQ hair color. Color. I like to use the gloss to gel when I am root smudging, root tapping, root melting, and even for low lights. And I always use this when I am toning ends of the hair. This is a much thicker consistency, it is much heavier, it's easier to control. I always use this with a brush. And when I'm using this, this is literally the consistency of water. So I always use it with a bottle and I just put it on the hair in the bowl. Just know that it is a completely sheer hair color. It is not going to take over the whole strand. So if I wanted to root myself with an 8N, it's still going to be blonde at the root and it's not really going to cover any highlights. It really just blends everything out really nicely and gives it like a sheer sheen, but it doesn't cover anything. Another service you can do is actually just do a clear gloss. Shades EQ is a gloss, it levels out the pH, it closes the cuticle, and it makes your hair look really shiny. My number one tip and advice with Shades EQ is just trust your formulation because it looks really scary when it's done. You just have to trust yourself and know that what you're doing is gonna turn out good. It's really, really hard when all your blonde hair that you just did looks brown and purple. But like I said, trust the process, leave it on, 
don't rinse after two minutes because you'll need to tone again. As for purchasing Shades EQ, I know there are so many options. I literally have just like a few of mine right there. I have a huge collection of shades just because I use it every single day on every single person. So it literally goes like that. I love the 9V, the 10P, the 10GI. So good. Even the 9VGs. Oh my goodness, they're so good. If you guys want me to make a video all about my favorite Shades EQ combinations and like pictures to go with them, I would love to do that video. What's important to know about shades is they all have background tones. So the ends, which are naturals, neutrals, their background tone is brown to tan. So I always use an N to shadow root because normally people have brown to tan undertones in their root. But if I needed to cancel out some warmth in the root, I would use something like 7N 9P. The P's background tone is blue, so it's gonna cancel out warmth. And it's also gonna put in some brown pigment that way it gives it a very nice sheen from their natural color to the highlight. Shades EQ does have a chart online and that shows all the background colors. The one that is listed first, so for example, blue violet means there's more blue than there is a violet. So that is why background tones are really important to know. Like I said, these are all things you definitely, definitely learn with experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little beginner's video of Shades EQ. If you guys want to know more about Shades EQ, I would love to answer any questions you have below or you can even DM me on Instagram and maybe I'll do like a little Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys.